KIP69 here at EVJ at Computex 2013. Can you tell me what I'm looking at here? Sure. So uh, what we have here is the GTX 780 Classified. So this uh, graphics card uses the new ACX cooling. It's double ball bearing fans. What we did on this card is increase the PCB size about an inch. And uh, also we have 14 power phases, so increase the phase count. We have an EVJ EVBot connector, dual 8-pin power inputs. And uh, with this uh, design, we're able to also increase the power target value so you can get a little bit more headroom on your uh, power target. We also have a GTX 770 classified. Uh, again, very similar uh, to the 780. It has uh, 4 gigabytes of memory, so it has double the amount of memory. It also has the ACX cooler, dual 8 pin inputs. No EVBot on this one though. We expect this 770 um, to ship probably next week. And the 780 classified will be available within the next two to three weeks. And it's sitting here beside its... Yep, so that's the regular GTX 770 ACX, and we also have a 780 Hydro Copper, uh, which uses a water block that we just started shipping. Very nice. So uh, we also have three motherboards based on the new Intel Z87 chipset. We have the EVJ Z87 Stinger motherboard. This is a mini ITX motherboard. It has um, Creative Core 3D audio. It's the first time we've used a premium audio solution. Also has a uh, Bluetooth and you know USB 3.0, SATA 6G, PCI Express 3.0. Uh, one up from that, we have the FTW version. This one gives you SLI, two-way SLI, and gives you a few more SATA 6G ports as well. And our highest end board is the Z87 Classified. So this one gives you four SLI. We add a PLX bridge chip underneath here to give you the extra PCI Express lanes. It also has a mini PCIe here. Spent some time in the layout, has a right angle 24 pin uh, power connector, has right angled fan headers, right angled SATA 6G of course, and a right angled USB 3.0 header. All three of these motherboards come with a brand new GUI BIOS that we've spent, I would say maybe two years developing it. And um, we're really excited to start shipping these in July. Yeah, Early nice. July. Uh, this is the X79 class of, uh, X79 Dark. Sorry. So a few years ago, we launched the X79 line from EVGA, and uh, they were decent boards. But some of our uh, community wanted more. So what they wanted was more DIMM slots. We added eight DIMM ports. They wanted four-way SLI in a more EATX format, not XLATX. And we did a lot of improve and more SATA ports. We did a lot of improvements under the hood. It has a better memory layout for better overclocking. Better PCI Express layout gives you better uh, PCI Express compatibility. It's a 12 layer PCB, it gives you better memory overclocking, and it also has a brand new GUI BIOS. So we are looking forward to shipping this one um, in early July. Nice board. Thank you very much. Yep. This is the new EVGA mini box. What it is is a mini ITX chassis. It uh, has an integrated slot load drive. So there's a slot load drive right here. We plan to ship it with the slot load, with the, the optical drive, as well as a power supply. It has a 500 watt power supply in it. It's 42 amps on the plus 12 volt rail. It's also gold rated. Um, you can see here we're powering a GTX Titan. It works perfectly fine. Uh, it can support two uh, hard drives, either 3.5 or 2.5. And this chassis is uh, coming very soon in the middle of July. A lot of stuff in July. You see inside here? It's an actually a small case compared to some of the others I've seen. Yep. And some of that is because of the, the power supply. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me reboot this here. So uh, this is the new GUI BIOS that we've been working on for several years. Uh, we actually had a working version maybe, like I said, a few years ago, but it wasn't a good experience, so we decided not to ship it. So this is the version that will ship on Z87, all Z87 boards and X79 classified. I wanted to make it very familiar to use, but also give you some useful information. So you can use the mouse. You can scroll. Uh, scrolling works fine, uh, to, but you don't have to. You can also use the keyboard just as a traditional BIOS to change multiplier settings, for example. You can use plus, minus. You can also type it in, so it's very convenient to use. Um, up here at the top, we have a lot of important information. This shows you one PCI Express graphics card running at PCI Express 3.0, my VRM and CPU temperatures. Over here, it shows my I have two 8-gigabyte memory modules, total 16 gigabytes 
inputs, my memory frequency, CPU, uh, my CPU voltage, my memory voltage, and of course uh, my CPU multiplier, my B clock frequency, CPU clock, hyperthreading is enabled, I have four cores, so we wanted all the information up at a glance. We didn't want to have any splash screens or anything like that that the user had to click through. And uh, in fact, uh, when you go to the BIOS, the very first screen you see is the overclock page, because we know most people are going there. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you. 69 year to EVGA. Goodbye.